I call this teaching uh, Lucifer's breastplate. His loss is our gain. And it was, it was a big loss because he had it all and he, and he, and he threw it all away. And, it, and it's kind of a warning uh, to us is to watch uh, how we do things in, in ministry. Because the minute we start getting prideful and arrogant, he's gonna he's gonna slap you down. And uh, we are nowhere near uh, in the category of these guys because he really gave these guys everything. He trusted them with everything, and they misused uh, those things that he gave them. And he misused gave them. But this all starts, and it all starts. Uh, <coughs> With a lamentation. Now you have to understand that uh, Hiram, and I know Kenny and I have talked about this, Hiram was really loved by God. And people don't realize that he was, uh, let me bring it to you. He says Hiram was of a good age. God allowed him to attain a, a good age. He was extremely old. And people don't realize it. And we'll set it up like this. It says that Hiram, uh, the king of Tyre, had already survived King David, King Solomon, 21 kings of Israel, 20 kings of Judah, 10 prophets, and 10 high priests. That's how long his reign was. He supplied Israel with uh, gold, silver, uh, trees, and everything. And Solomon had given him 20 cities up in the north part of uh, Israel. But he didn't think that was enough for him. I, I believe he wanted to be heir apparent and later on be king of Israel. And that was not going to happen. That, that, that was brought down through history to the Jewish people. So it, it was already said that it was going to go through Solomon's sea and, and nowhere else. So he was kind of envious about that. And that was number one. Number two, he, he thought after a while that he was invincible. He thought of himself as a god in a lot of instances. And uh, he started to raise himself up as a god. And you have to understand that off of uh, Israel, up in, up in that area, there was a little island sitting out in the Mediterranean. They called it the Great Sea. Was sitting out there. And this is where he decided that he was going to build his temple. His temple. Not God's temple, his temple. Uh, listen, to, listen to how he built this thing because it was built according to what he thought was the seven heavens. Okay? The first that he constructed, it had four pillars. First, it had four pillars anchored and fastened to the bottom of the sea. He also uh, erected the first level was glass. The second level was of iron, the third was of lead, the fourth was of brass, the fifth was of copper, the sixth was of silver, and the seventh was of gold. So he had seven levels. And so he had raised himself up to be a god. And he wanted his people to realize that, and he built himself a temple to do sacrifices at him again. What caused his downfall was the fact here come an individual through history who also thought of himself as their God. And uh, he was pretty powerful. And anybody know who it was? Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great, here he come up through this area and decided that he wanted <coughs> to make sacrifices to God from Hiram's temple. 
I first hired him refused. It was his temple, it was for him. And so he decided, no, nobody's going to do it. So Alexander decided, well, I'll just take it. <coughs> so if you see it on TV, you'll see the documentaries where you see them building the bridge out into the ocean mm -hmm. to get to this island. Mm -hmm. That's exact, that was Alexander the Great, and that was Hiram. And he was going out to overtake that temple. And he did. It, made, it took him a while, but he got out there and he took it over. Did Alexander kill him? Yeah, yeah. Well, Alexander killed everybody. <laughs> his, 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 uh, his thing was if he went against him, he was going, going against everything that he stood for. So, yeah, he didn't, he didn't mess around with people. If he, if he didn't, he took him prisoner. And so, but anyway, we're going to set this up. In order for, to look at Lucifer's breastplate, but about Hiram and about Lucifer, God presents them in the same category. Okay, that's how that's how he thought of, of Hiram. So what we do is we go into the book of Ezekiel, and uh, I think a friend of mine showed me that showed it to me a long time ago when I was doing the breastplates, and so but uh, it took me. A long time to get this thing down and to get it down the way that the Lord wanted to present it. But we go into Ezekiel and you go into uh, the 11th verse, chapter 28, the 11th verse, and so we then we read, okay? And you got to listen as you read <coughs> and fill these things in because here's what it says As the word of Adonai came to me. So listen to this word human being. He's talking to Ezekiel. Human being. In other words, these guys already tried to make themselves God. I want you to understand it. You are a human being. You are a mortal. And he, and he does that in different Bibles and different ways. It's human being or mortal. That's what he usually says. He says, raise up a lamentation for the king of Tyre and tell him that Adonai Elohim says, so you know, he, he made it specific. The Lord, thy God, says, and this is not going to be a pretty picture, is what he's saying. Lamentation is, is, is a warning song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, he what says, was that it was a, it's a warning song. What was the scripture? Ezekiel. Oh, the scripture. Ezekiel 28, starting verse 11. And we'll, and we'll break it down from there. I saw a, a teaching on television the other day and it brings it up is the fact that as God brought these stones forth, he placed them in Lucifer's breast himself. So this is how important this is to, to God. He says, you put the seal, the seal on perfection. You were full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. So the Pictures you see of him being this dragon or this thing with horns and stuff, forget it. So he'll come back as an angel of light. Yeah, this guy is going to come back. He's going to be a very good looking human being. He's going to be able to talk to you in circles. Mm -hmm. So you were, and this is it. Now listen to this. You were in Eden, the garden of God, covered with all kinds of precious stones. The carnelians, the topaz, the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, the jasper, the sapphires, the green, the feldspar, emeralds. Your pendants and jewels were made of gold. In other words, they were surrounded in gold. You look at the breastplate of the high priest, and guess what? They're surrounded in gold. All of them. He says, you walked back and forth with the fires among the stones of fire. You were perfect in your ways from the day that you were created. In other words, you were created by me until unrighteousness was found in you. In other words, he says, I've had enough. He's had enough. He says, I have destroyed you perfect." It's Karu, it's angel, the, the, uh, the high angel. 
cherubim. So I took this and uh, broke it down into, <coughs> I'm teaching a given now, and I uh, named it to a friend. I named a friend of mine, I told him about it, and he preached it from his pulpit. And he said, I called it uh, Lucifer's Breastplate. His loss was our gain. And so that we got to take into effect as of how these stones were brought forth and what, what they mean and what they meant to God at the time that he gave them. So we've already been through the fact that he was very well thought of. He did supply Israel with a lot of stuff, including the knowledge of sand and the seas and all the furs, I mean, you know, the cedars of Lebanon, and this stuff all come from up in there. And they sailed them down. To, to Israel, and you know, they helped build Solomon's temple, which Solomon rewarded him for. So it said, Now God is revealing uh, to us the breastplate of Lucifer, a picture of beauty that he received before pride and arrogance had snuck in. And he entered into his spirit and said, We need to look, we need to look and be aware of these things as we focus our ministries. As God has it, and that uh, we enter a relationship with the Father and talk to Him because He's given you the gift of ministries, and He's put.